Good morning. Your time now is 6.31, 30 more minutes of KRK4 today. But we want to get to our top story. You know, you just heard Pat talk about that weather. We're still talking about storm damage yeah. that we're seeing because they swept through the natural state yesterday into late last night. Some and most of that damage right now we're seeing in Jesseville. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Claire Kreitz joins us live this morning from Jesseville High School. Claire, uh, we're just interested. What, what does it look like right now as you're there? Yeah, DJ, when we were pulling in, we saw several down trees and some down power lines. Now, if you take a look behind me, look at this. These are the stadium lights, and you can see that storm just snapped this pole in half. There's also debris lining the bleachers and the fence. Students were in school when the storm hit. About 900 people packed into the safe room, and no one was hurt. According to the Garland County Sheriff's Office, along Highway 7, seven school buildings, three businesses, and 14 homes were damaged. We talked to one woman who's Anne's house was badly damaged. She says it's a miracle that no one was hurt. God knew right where she needed to be in the house to yeah. not get hit. She was sitting in her chair and she heard the wind and saw some lightning, so she got away from the window and walked, and she was between where the two trees fell. Jesseville schools will be closed today to assess the damage. Wednesday will be an AMI day. Reporting live in Jesseville, I'm Claire Kreitz. Back to you.